controversy brewing in a small town over this. Is it a cure-all or contraband? Well, here's somebody dying from cancer. They're not dying anymore. Here's somebody that had something else. Well, they're, they're cured. And this is what's doing it. Also, you've heard that milk does the body good, but we'll tell you what may be even better for your bones as Global National continues. In a small Nova Scotia town, one man is trying to get the word out about what he says are the healing properties of hemp oil, marijuana. But as Ross Lord explains, where he's spreading the word has created a major headache with no cure in sight. In McCann, Nova Scotia, this oil is gaining a reputation as a miracle drug. That's the cure right there. Oil extracted from marijuana plants. Rick Simpson has been making it and giving it to friends and neighbors. He calls it hemp oil. Others know it as weed oil. In small doses, he says, it makes you well without getting you high. Well, you can't deny your own eyes, can you? Now, here's somebody dying from cancer. They're not dying anymore. Here's somebody that has something else. Well, they're, they're cured. And this is what's doing it. The McCann branch of the Royal Canadian Legion was impressed too. So impressed, it hosted meetings like this one, aimed at spreading the word about hemp oil. But when they planned a big public meeting, higher-ups at the Legion shut them down. The provincial command came here the day of the meeting, and they come in, they lock the doors, and then I come into the air, and I had two RCMP officers here that told me I was not allowed on the property. They are using... Royal, the Royal Canadian Legion, its name, its, its, its insignias, and the buildings to, as a platform to promote the use of hemp oil as a medicinal drug. I don't care if, the, if this medicine comes from a tomato plant, a potato plant, or a hemp plant. If the medicine's safe and, and helps and works, why not use it? For Rick Dwyer, it's an emotional well, issue. Uh, One of the testaments to hemp oil's healing power is his father, a military veteran suffering from lung cancer. And this last time I was in, I, I didn't know, but they said I was going to die in 24 hours, but I didn't. So I took the oil and everything worked out right. But the Legion isn't budging. They've suspended the entire executive of this branch, along with any activities planned for the building, until they install a new management team. There is no provincial or federal regulation which states that this marijuana can be grown and produced into hemp oil for medicinal purposes and therefore it's illegal as far as the province is concerned and the Royal Canadian Legion does not back illegal operations. Simpson has had trouble with the law. The RCMP confiscated 1600 marijuana plants from his backyard last year. Plants he claims were grown for medicinal purposes. A court case is unresolved and so are questions within the Legion about whether hemp oil is medicine or menace. That goes against the general bylaws of the Royal Canadian Legion. What I did, I'm proud of what I did. I'm proud of it. And for now, since the Legion is the town's only meeting place, getting the word out about hemp oil will prove to be more difficult. In McCann, Nova Scotia, this is Global National's Ross Lord. And a groundbreaking study has surprising results. It says the active chemical in marijuana kills brain cancer cells. The study suggests that THC causes brain cancer cells to essentially eat themselves. In both studies with mice and humans, tumors exposed to the drug shrank. The study's authors say patients didn't suffer any toxic side effects, and the results could be used to develop new strategies for preventing tumor growth. It's not about justice, it's not about agenda, it's not about mobilizing people, it's about dialing for corporate dollars. These two parties have sold the U.S. government and the American people to the highest bidders.